Welcome back everybody. So we have returned to the at-home store to take another look at the Halloween merchandise. It's been about a week and they had some fun stuff out last time. Let's see what's new. Now I am going to point out, even though you see like those awesome trees there on the blocks, we're not going to take another look at them. We're only going to be checking out the new products that we didn't look at in the last video, like this awesome pumpkin, even though that's kind of strange. It's got like completely different design on the bottom and on the top. Uh, interesting mix and match sort of effect they've got going on there. Here we've got a Ouija board. It's actually very thick. Maybe that justifies that $10 price tag. Because, you know, signage like that, that's sort of wall hangings, I expect to find at the Dollar Tree. And is it worth, an, you know, 10 times the cost? I'm not sure. But I do absolutely love this corkscrew and wine topper. I hope that's kind of a hint of the things to come. They've got a lot of glass pumpkins. Uh, we did not see these in the last video. And they have quite the array of designs so I've actually always kind of enjoyed those I haven't really started collecting them or anything but if you wanted to they do have a whole lot you can choose from and here are a couple more I love this this one it's got they're just they're beautiful I think and I like that they've got this like gourd now here not just a plain old pumpkin but anyway lots to lots to pick from Moving on, we've got a, another pumpkin with some rhinestones on it. It's very, very lightweight, like a little styrofoam pumpkin. So that's certainly something you can DIY yourself. But if you're not looking to DIY, again, huge array here. We've got a floor mat, a doormat. They actually usually have a whole lot of designs of doormats. So I look forward to seeing the new ones that come in throughout the season. Here, another glass pumpkin that caught my eye. Wow, bit pricey, weighs half a ton, but it is pretty. All right, I don't want to keep dwelling on the glass pumpkins, but check them out if you're interested. We're going to move on. I like this haunted sign. The trees kind of remind me of Christmas trees, so I wonder if this is one of those products that they kind of just repurpose, use the same basic. Uh, materials to make Christmas versions and Halloween versions but lights up that's nice it doesn't really have anything in the windows of the houses unfortunately like this trailer that you could buy a little camper I guess some cute little pumpkins you know if you did actually have a camper and were out camping you could hang this outside on a little tree or something hopefully nobody would steal it but um, you could light it up and see the actual things in the windows here. It looks like we had a ghost and a uh, witch there. All right, over here we've got some more signage. Dream Reader. I, I did a psychic theme in my kitchen last year. Check out that walkthrough if you're interested. But that sign would have been great. I actually like how these aren't just wall hangings. They have the, uh, the little thing on the back to hold it up. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it has a hook. So if you wanted to use it as a wall hanging, you couldn't, but... Ooh, a little headless skeleton there. I think he's supposed to have a head like this one. He lights up too. It's a little hard to see. It kind of glows and blinks. I don't know if that's just a weird battery fluke or not. I love pumpkins that have all sorts of writing on it. You'll see some of those in my display as well. This one's not too bad. It's got a good heft to it. All right. More pumpkins. And if you'd want to do the Halloween tree this year, they're actually selling black Christmas trees. So that's kind of a, a good deal. All right, we've got a spider over here. It looks like he's got some pretty long legs. But it's nice that they're not only doing the cutesy decor, but it's starting to get into the typical Halloween scary stuff. And I guess I could have called it creepy stuff. Here's some creepy cloth. I guess it's not called creepy cloth here. It's Halloween. Oh, maybe I don't know what that said. Might have been creepy cloth. But I used to think that was a little overpriced, but it is much larger than the stuff that you'll get at the Dollar Tree. It's a nice little boo. It's got some garland around it, too. That garland, again, is kind of Christmassy. And what, what could that have said if it were a Christmas display as well? All right. We've got the hoedown merchandise now. I'm not making that up. That's the line, Halloween hoedown. So uh, 
you can get some fun country style decor like that little light up pumpkin now here's some uh, bottles and potion bottles that we looked at last time again i'm not going to go over that we're just going to skip right past it and skip past some of those wreaths there come back to the good merchandise here we've got a lantern that lights up we've got a little uh, spider motif and that skull with the beads bad investment in my opinion we saw in the last video but I like this little skeleton that's popping out of the spell book. All right, moving on. We've got another tree. They've really outdone themselves with trees this year. This one looks like it's coming out of the top of a witch's hat, and it's got a really good shape to it, and it's actually got quite a heft as well. So it's not going to topple over, which is probably good if you wanted to hang some ornaments or something on it. But uh, here we saw this skeleton lady, her head popped off in my last video, but she's got a boyfriend now, it looks like, 40 bucks, but you could have a pair, I guess, for $80 for your little skeleton bride and groom, maybe. Anyway, there is a little sign. The witch lives here with her little monsters, a real witch, I should say. And let's see what is up here. Oh, this is kind of cute. It's a little witch's hat on a pumpkin. So there's that. Oh, this is not the cat we saw last time. Five bucks. It's a wooden cat. Not, not like the ceramic one that we saw before. One-sided. But it also has that cute little shape. Not just a... Uh, well, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's cute. All right, moving on. This is actually kind of another cool pumpkin. It's a metal base with a glass top. They're really going all out with pumpkins. All right, there's that awesome witch's hat. But we now have a witch's broom down here. It's kind of small for, for a witch's broom, but I like how it's got the little bird on it. Is it supposed to be a broom or is it supposed to be like a tree? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a broom. But I don't know why they didn't make the handle much, much longer to make it a little more realistic. But the base is very solid, doesn't want to tip over, so that's kind of impressive. Is that other cute cat we saw last time but look at this pumpkin it's got bugs and creepy crawlies on it now i give them props i love the shape of this pumpkin it's not your standard you know pumpkin shaped pumpkin it's got that weird uh weirdness to it but i think the the mass of bugs kind of ruins it they could have put just a few or a few a little bit less and it would have been more huh. okay so we've got a pumpkin or pumpkin, a gnome. Can't speak today. All right, some more Halloween signage. Happy Halloween. Eat, drink, and be scary. And then, of course, boo. That's kind of cute. Put it on your mantle or something. A little bit of decor. Add some festiveness to the Halloween season. And hopefully, we'll get to see more of that festiveness coming soon. But for now, we've got a bit more of this uh, fall decor. I love that little lantern at the bottom. You could probably do something with that. But that kind of does it for today's visit at the at-home store and their Halloween merchandise. There's probably going to be a lot more coming up in the next week or so, so stay tuned for that. Till next time, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, happy haunting.